Hey you guys, ASD Classified here. So today I'm going to talk about some things that I would, you know, like to see in Power Rangers Samurai that would, in my opinion, make the show a little less awful than it already is. Alright, let's get into that. <laughs> hmm, the first thing that I would like to see is them to wrap up this whole Mia can't cook plot line. I'm I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the joke. It stopped being funny a long time ago. <laughs> Can we please, like, do something else? Because, like, we don't know anything about Mia. It's been, like, 20-some episodes, and we still really don't know anything about Mia except she can't cook. And, yeah, I know she got this focus episode coming up, like, tomorrow about her singing, and that's that's good, actually. I, I'm supporting that, and I'm hoping that the episode might actually be good. But, still, that doesn't change the fact that we don't know anything about this chick, and all they really do is focus on this bad cooking joke that's gotten really old. So, yeah. And all this joke shows is that the Rangers are not Mia's friends. See, Mia don't have any friends in that house. Because a real friend would have told her by now. See, they, a real friend tells you the truth. See, Emily, somebody would have sat down like, Look, girl, I know you're trying. I know, I know you like to cook. This is your hobby and all. I know. But you can't cook. This stuff is stank-a-dank-dank. -dank. You cannot cook. We... <laughs> You have been trying to kill us for months in this house, and okay, you need to Martha Stewart, my Angelou cookbook, some because this this is not gonna work. See, a real friend would have sat her down and told her. See, it's just making all the Rangers look bad at this point. So wrap it up. Why not have an episode where the Rangers actually act like friends and tell her, you know, that she can't cook, and you know, she'd be a little hurt by it a little bit, but you know, she tries to do better. You know, she tried to buy some cookbooks, try to cook. She even asks. Antonio for advice because you know he do do some cooking I don't know if he cooks anything outside of fish but he does do some cooking you know she asks him for some advice he helps out I don't know maybe they get a little romantic cooking thing involved I mean I'm not a shipper or anything you know I don't really care about relationships and power just but I don't know maybe it could happen Antonio and Mia getting to get over cooking I don't know. <laughs> it's more interesting than anything else she's doing in this show so Next, I really wish that Serrator was his own villain. I, I That's what I really, the show would be better for me if he was. I wish that he wasn't coming in, you know, trying to serve Master Xandra. And yeah, obviously he's pulling like a Dark Conda Divya type of thing where he's planning to betray and do his own plans and all. But I don't, that's not what I really want to see. I want to see more of a like him coming in and being like, you know what, Master Xandri, I deserve to be in charge here, so I'm going to take over. You know, him be his own villain, doing his own plots, having his own servants, you know, kind of like a Machine Empire versus Lord Zen and Rita type of thing, you know what I mean? That's what I wanted to see, and that's what I actually expected, like, you remember when we heard about the whole Dayu and Decker storyline, and they called him the Nala King. Now, I really took that to heart. I thought he was going to be the Nala King. I thought, like, he was the original master of all these evil forces, and he lost his powers for some reason, and Master Xandra took over. And I thought, like, it was going to be him, Serrator, coming back and saying, like, this is my kingdom, I'm retaking the throne, and Master Xandra, you know, he wasn't having it, so they were both going to be duking it out. That's what I thought was going to happen. Not copying Shinkanger, but, but, you know... Be a little more original. So yeah, I would rather see Serrator with his own evil villain faction duking it out with Master Xandra for control of the Nylog Empire and fighting the Rangers, you know. That's what I want to see. Okay, third thing, it would be nice if we met the Rangers' parents. I would love to see them, like, on this show. Like, they were the last power, the last Samurai Rangers, right? So I would like to see them. I mean, obviously, we're not going to be seeing Jaden's daddy because, nah. But <laughs> the other Rangers, you know, their parents, they're fair game. I would love to see them come and visit the Sheba house, you know, check out everything, see the, how their kids are doing, seeing if they're doing all right. You know, I would definitely love to see Emily's family. <laughs> They'd probably get that girl a complex, come over like, I sure hope our daughter is doing a good job, you know. <laughs> you know she does mess up at everything she do. <laughs> I mean, she's nothing like her sister Serena. Ugh, Serena was brilliant until she got sick. Ugh, I'm sorry you got stuck with the spare. <laughs> you know, this would make for good drama and a good, like, plot line to see. Like, see Emily, you know, kind of struggling or something. I don't know, it would just be nice to see the Rangers' parents in general and actually see them fight, you know, to see them fight unmorphed, you know, with so samurai swords, that'd be awesome. Even fighting side by side their own kids. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Okay. 
fourth thing I want to see is Eminem and Mikey dating. Emily and Mike dating, okay? <laughs> I want to see that. I mean dating on the show, like during the show run. Not in the finale, Mikey asks her out and says, yeah, let's date, okay? And they walk off and we never see them actually date. No, I want to see them date in the show. Mikey asks her out or hell, Emily asks him out. I don't care. Just have them date. Just have them have fun and go out. That's what I want to see. Why can't we ever have another Tommy and Kim relationship, man? Why are they always... They always side the relationships. I mean, like I said, I don't really care that much. But if you're going to have characters flirt with each other and show that they like each other, then go all the way. Not all the way, but just go <laughs> go the distance of having them date, you know. <sighs> I'm tired of stuff like Lily and Theo, you know. Yeah, we're going to totally date, but the audience isn't going to see it. You know, <laughs> I don't, I'm tired of that. Have them date during the show, not after. Oh, and Mikey and Emily need to kiss. Yeah. Alright. The last thing I want to talk about is Spike. And no, I'm not talking about the fact that he's completely useless to the storyline in Samurai, along with both. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> More as I'm talking about his existence. <laughs> now, we all know that he's Skull's son. We know this. And I heard that in a future episode, Skull is going to, you know, appear in like one episode of Samurai. I, I, I heard that. So, I'm more concerned about who his mother is. Yeah. And I would like his mother to be Kimberly Hart. <laughs> I know, I know it sounds a little crazy, but I, I definitely support the coupling of Skull and Kimberly. I definitely do. If she can't be with Tommy, you know, if her and Tommy had to break up, which they did, you know, and he ended up with Kat, and apparently in the future he marries her. So, if Kimberly has to be with somebody who's not Tommy, then, you know, I would like it to be Skull. I mean, they were kind of cute together. I mean, a few times we saw them, like, you know, kind of couple ish in Mighty Morphin. It was cute. Like, when Kimberly was under that punk spell in Power Rangers Punks, that was an awesome scene. So, like, you want to go out Saturday night and tear up the town? That was awesome. <laughs> It was great. And, like, the potion notion in season three, like, when she put on that little spell and she was all up in school. And, like, when the spell ended, you know, she actually treated him like a friend. She was like, I'm sorry I behaved that way. And, like, but I still value you as a friend. You know, that was cute. And they shared a little dance at the end. Like, if she was free from Tommy, well, not to say free from Tommy, but if she was, like, you know, they broke up, they're not together anymore, I, and she was hanging around school, I could definitely see them, like, developing feelings for each other eventually I mean it still asks this question like when was Spike conceived but I don't really feel like thinking about that I don't care so <laughs> he's whatever age he is I don't care I just want Kimberly to be his mom I think that would be interesting it would be weak that he can't fight like she can but it would still be interesting <laughs> so yeah those are some plot points that I would like to see in Samurai that I would think will make it, you know, a little bit better, you know. At this point, there's really no saving this season, but whatever. <laughs> I'll take what little joy I can get. And what about you guys? Like, what would you want to see in Power Rangers Samurai? Do you agree or disagree with what I would like to see? You know, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, though. Later, guys.